Okay, so this is the train project. Um, this is the next page, page four. Um, so on this page, you make the cab like this. So you got all of these things already kind of laid out. Uh, you can see on this one it says I've made two. So I'm just kind of cutting it out, putting it together, and then I'll have two. Same. And I have a couple of other small pieces that have got to go on, but I'm going to kind of try and use as much wood up as I can without wasting it. Um, so that's what it looks like right now. Hi. So I cut all the cab pieces out. They're together. They're gl glued. Anyway, so now is just to make the cab into a cab. So I have to glue the sides and then glue in here and put it in my vise. And then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so I showed you putting, I had to put it in the vise. So this is it outside of the vise. Now obviously, it needs this for the top. That's the next step to glue this on. When I do that, because I've actually already skipped ahead again, you get the cab on, lid on. So it'll end up looking like that. Now you can see I put some wood filler on here. There's some obviously some cracks that needed to be fixed, some stuff that'll need to be sanded out. But that's the cab for the train. And uh, so basically that makes the train part pretty much all done. There's a little couple little things that still have to be done, but they're small, they're minor. Um, and then the major problem is that obviously there's a boiler section and uh, I can't do that until I have my lathe set up. And I think the way it's being set up is all tied to the shed project that you guys, well, a lot of you guys have heard about, seen. So that part is delayed. So I think I can work on the caboose section that they have. Well, it's not a caboose. You guys can correct me on that if you want. Um, but the next section to the train and uh, can do that. And then it's waiting for the life. So, and so that's what this looks like for right now and um, I'll get back to you. Bye.